part of my job as CDO is to help the um, unemployed guys when they come in to see us, um, get them into employment or education, if they're, especially if they're early school leavers. Um, Shanika was an early school leaver um, and she expressed interest in going back to school and then following through with uni to become a marine biologist. I went to Tanya and then asked her if I could go back to school and then she was so like, yeah, okay then. And then after that, she got all this paperwork ready and stuff. And then I sort of got in and yeah, then we went down in the first term. And yeah, we had an um, interview with the principal and to see what the principal was like. And then yeah, then we, uh, we sort of walked around the school and see what it was like. It was okay. When I first got there, I was like excited, and then yeah, it was like kind of a bit scary. Yeah, because I didn't knew anyone but um, Tanya's daughter. But then when I first walked into the school, walking around, and then all these random girls coming up and saying hello, and then yeah, I didn't know them. And then this other two other girls came up and they're like sort of pulled me away from Tanya, I'm like, oh, where am I going? And then, yeah, we went and sat down with them and then everyone was like, all saying hello and my name is so-and-so and... I, as a project leader, I have helped the other participants find, gain experience in fields where they are interested in, like, such as uh, if they were interested in um, turtle researching, say, for example, at Shanika, we helped her with getting her um, transport to Bowen to uh, link up with Dr. Allen, who is a um, researcher, um, and she has a, um, she does a course, she's a um, professor at the uh, James Cook University, and she's known Shanika from back um, working with her at Cooktown. Um, and yes, we helped Shanika go down and do her two week course with uh, Dr. Allen. And um, from there, uh, Shanika expressed that she wanted to go to school so then she can get into university to, you know, follow her passion with um, turtle research. So we've um, helped her out with um, returning to school. Started to get interested in sea turtles and how they live and what they do in the sea and how they nest and stuff. And then yeah, skin kind of interested in it. Also in like the reef part and what they do on the reef. So what I um, actually first did is um, I um, went sea turtle tagging when I was just younger and younger. And um, we went like just normally um, on the um, sort of like a seagrass flat in the middle of the seagrass and going around, yeah, just on the boat looking for sea turtles and just tagging them there and taking the, all the data because they have a data sheet that they carry on the boat. It's like a waterproof paper. And then, yeah, they'll be writing what this turtle or what day we catch this turtle and if we find it again and then we got it on the data. And then also, we um, do a lot of stuff with them, like just for the sick ones, we take samples and other things with them. And usually some other times they um, shove some, you know, the um, camera thingy, yeah, shove down their throat and see what they're eating and stuff, yeah. But mostly the one turtles are in bone, they're like sick. And yeah, we'll find all these parasites and stuff on them and they are malitius they get washed out of the river and yeah usually land on them and yeah some some of the turtles they like have barnacles on them too like because yeah and then also they get pretty skinny and you can see they're like bone sticking some turtles they're bone sticking and they're like kind of light to um thing but the healthier ones they're like heavy to carry and stuff going to um blackheath and thornborough uh, I think it's going to help me with my university of doing marine biology and working with sea turtles because that's what I love doing.